With CV Paint Fracture, you can now easily art direct your Voronoi fractures. Just go ahead and select an object that you want to fracture and run the CV Paint Fracture command. What it will do is take your object, throw it in a Voronoi Fracture object, and also create a hair object with the Add Guides tool activated. And this will allow you to go in and paint fractures on the surface of your object. And as you go in there and add details, you can see that you can really localize them exactly where you want. So having done this, I might now take my Voronoi Fracture object and offset these fragments a little bit, maybe half a unit, and invert them. And I've got this nice sort of organic looking superstructure on my object. And I accomplished that very easily and very interactively. Now this can also be used to improve your dynamic simulations. With your default Voronoi fracture, you might get something like this. Now, this is uh, fine, but I wanna add you know, some, some impact sites where these spheres are hitting. So what I'm gonna do is go to my Voronoi fracture object and run CV paint fracture. Again, it's gonna give me the tools that I want. And I'm now just gonna go into my front view and I'm gonna paint these fractures where my objects are going to be impacting. And I really wanna give myself some fine details. So I'm gonna zoom in and just paint a little bit more right in there where I feel like the impact is gonna be the most severe. So I can get sort of a, a radiating crater from there. And now when I press play, you see that we have these very tiny fragments that are shooting out and then the larger pieces are falling. Oh, looks like I'm gonna want a little bit more detail right there as well. So again, this is very art directable. So I can come up in here, grab my fracture source, and I think I wanted some more detail right in there. It doesn't have to be quite as fine. So now pressing play, we get our smaller impact. The wall starts to come down. And there we are. The sphere is just broken through right in the area where we wanted it. Now, if you found that you've added a lot of fracture points and you actually want to start deleting some of them, uh, there's a slightly different workflow for that. What you want to do is go to your simulate menu and find your hair selection pull down. And inside of here is a live selection tool. So go ahead and grab live selection and click and try and drag out your selection. You can middle mouse drag to get a larger selection. And now what you might notice is that some of these are not being selected and that's because they are sort of sitting inside of your Voronoi fracture. So you can turn off visible only and then just select whichever of these you wanna get rid of and then hit delete. And if you wanna go back to painting additional fracture points in, just go to your recent tools pull down and go back to the add guides tool. And uh, it's all very adaptable. You can use it in a lot of different scenarios. Here is uh, another one with a sort of a text treatment where I've painted the, the letter CV for Cineversity. And right here, I've also got um, a similar style where I'm painting on the, uh, the face from before, but now I've applied a more motion graphic style animation to this where I've got sections of the face uh, expanding out, twisting around, and disappearing. So I hope that you can see some of the possibilities of this workflow. Now, because I am using the hair system as the backbone for this, you need to be using a version of Cinema 4D that has access to the hair system. I also want to give a shout out to Yader who pioneered this technique. If you want to download the script, go ahead and follow along in the next video where I go over that process.